Well, it's time for Art Display on Wake Up Nigeria this morning. And our guest is Timothy Olale Konkokuola. It's, uh, of course, uh, Timothy is a paper college artist, that's collage artist, and a fine arts graduate from Amadubello University, Zaria, where he topped his set. Yes, he's impressive like that. Now, he started creating figures with paper, was looking for employment in the streets of Lagos back in 2012. Timothy took, took advantage of his sister's old newspaper, turning waste to wealth by using scrap to form movements in figures. And um, from the theme uh, to the cut out of the papers, some of the 17th development goals. Well, it's, it's, it's really uh, so good to have you in the studio with Thank us. You, All right. So um, let's talk about your artwork. <clears throat> I'm particularly interested in how art became a thing for you. Was it something that perhaps due to not gaining admission, as is the case with some people, was it something that when you finished secondary school, you just knew you were going to study art? No, I was formerly a commercial student. Okay. But as time, there was need for monthly theme display in our church. Okay. So I started cutting papers for the church, cutting monthly things. And from that, I got inspired to study art in school. Wow, that was how it came about. That's how it started. <laughs> so you, how did your parents feel when you ditched the commercial for art? Because as at your time, I'm pretty sure it was a case of, eh? <laughs> yes, they fought me. They mm. didn't want me to study because they actually wanted me to be a banker. Mm. But with time, when they saw, when they started seeing what I, my drawings, they now said, okay, it's good that I go for mm. what I like to. Mm. Okay, so then your drawing started. Uh, was it in school you, it's metamorphosed, or this is something you were just doing on your own? And on my own, you yes. just kept growing? I started on my own. Mm. Like, I started making teams for church. But um, it got to a point when I started, um, I started gumming the paper together. I started um, my collage before I gained admission to school. Mm. But when I got again admission to school, ABU Zaria, I, I specialized in writing, artistry. Mm. But when I finished, I started, when I started looking for a job and there was none, mm. I started, I returned back to my first love. Wow. And that, that has to do with the papers. Now, I'm, I'm actually very interested in, you said you use papers, yes. uh, newspapers, right? Yes. Are there any other kinds of papers you use? Yes, I use newspaper. And um, because the newspaper is very soft. Okay. Especially when it comes to... Um, Paper cropper mm -hmm. is very soft to undo. Mm. But when it comes to the, how last the work will be, because the, the color of the newspaper fades with time. So I started using news, a magazine paper. Mm. That one is seen in those three men, okay. laughing, the three men. Okay. So I started using magazine paper mm. because it lasts longer. Okay, so magazine paper lasts longer, longer because it's newspaper, thicker than newspapers. newspapers. So talking about uh, magazine paper, and then you mentioned that artwork. Let's talk about it. Yes. Let's talk about the artworks. Now, starting from the one on the furthest left, okay. tell us about it. A, that's a dancer. That's the back view of a female dancer. Okay. An African. Is she twerking? Uh, okay, please go on. Yeah, the back view of a female the dancer. The back view Okay. A female dancer. All right. Okay, then the next one, what, what is it exactly? Uh, yes, I study, I love the movement of the Uganda um, three kids. Okay. So they dance a lot, so I just, it's a form of, a tribute to the three um, from Uganda, mm. Uganda Kampala. Mm. So when they, when they top the, I think the last um, British got, I just decided to make something for them. Wow. Okay, so you draw, you draw, and then yes. of course you then outline and then put your colors. And then start um, cropping that's for that um, for that technique it's mm. called paper cropper mm. i started moving with close range after applying the gum okay. on the drawing okay then i started moving the paper okay stitching it and uh, moving it together okay now do you color over it like do you paint over I it think or? that's 100 percent paper so is the, you use the shade of paper you need to get the colors you yes need. i look for the shade i wow. look for the um, the color I look for everything. Wow, that orange there is bright, and it's hard it's, for me to believe that's it's actually paper. from paper. Wow, paper. that's lovely. Let's talk about this one on the right. Yes. Okay. So, what what is it about? Because no. this one looks quite different from the rest. Yes, um, that's a different technique. Okay. The first two, um, I that's a um, paper crop. Okay. That's I started that one twenty twenty one after I studied a book on um, how that um. um 
architectural image impact positively mm. on our mental health. Okay. So I started doing something for mental health. Okay. I know by the time the mind run through the ruffles, okay. before identifying the image, mm. it impacts positively on our mental health. Okay. So I started working on that from okay. 2012. Okay. But I started from, 20, uh, from 2021. 20. Yeah. So 2012, I started with paper collage okay. because that's the, that one I studied that from George Brax and um, um, Pablo Picasso. Okay. So I started pasting the paper together to form Exactly. 2012. But for this one, it was inspired from 2012. This this particular one. Yes, 2012. Okay, so you put it together. You it's like a normal um, painting, right? The painting, okay. but I use I I take I I took advantage of the paint, the okay. ink on the paper okay. to do instead of looking for mixing color. Okay. I just look for the color I need, the okay. shade I need, okay. whatever I need, the lines. Created with so paper. all of these as paper. well is paper. Everything is paper. 100%. There's nothing here that is, is colored no, or painted. There is no paint, ma. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm, I find it impressive. I mm. love the burst of colors, and I can't believe you were able to really put them out there using paper to achieve this um, painting that is currently on your screen. Okay, it's not a painting. <laughs> this <laughs> artwork cool. that is currently on that, that's really impressive. Let's talk about this one here. Okay. The one right in front of us. So yes, um, tell us about that one. Yes, um, that's tribute to motherhood. Tribute to motherhood. Motherhood, okay. yeah. I lost my dad when I was in primary one. Oh. And so from that time, it's been mommy, mommy, mommy. And um, I just feel like doing something for my mom. Hmm. So that's why I, most of my works are women. I only paint, I only do men. But I always imagine those days where she'll be the only one Okay, beat us, mm. take us to school, and then still try to make money free, to and feed. Sit, try to make money to mm. feed us, and then um, that's why it's about it's a celebration of mothers. Mm. So, I actually got the inspiration when I broke one of my hand and I was in General Hospital Ikeja. Okay, and so I was waiting for the physiotherapist okay. to come out, and I saw the woman carrying a baby, oh. and the baby was sleeping. Okay. The woman was also tired, oh, <laughs> so they okay. so I, instead of quickly sketching, mm -hmm. with sketching the event, mm -hmm. I snapped the woman and the baby with the with my phone. Okay. So when I return home, I now turn it to an artwork. Mm. It's an experience for me yeah. to remember what happened, what led to the work, and then, and then of course, celebration of the, the, the broken the hand. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I find your work uh, impressive, and I, I actually love the burst of colors. I love what you're doing with the papers. It's amazing. I know you have an, um, a, a, a kind of like an exhibition tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Tra trash on. It's a okay. combination of trash, the word trash, and fashion. Okay. So they, they are inviting people that convert waste to wealth to come and exhibit at American Corner tomorrow. Yeah. It's starting from nine. We we'll start displaying from nine. Wow. American Corner, I catch I hear. Wow, wow. That's that's really cool. So if you'd like to see Tim Hortons works, you know where to go check him out. Thank you so much for your time. Tim Thank Woody. you. Thank you, indeed. All right, at this point, uh, we'll take a break. Uh, we've reached the top of the hour. Just stay with us, you're watching Wake Up Nigeria.